Hey y'all, welcome to the Neighborhood News with Katie and Dana. This is our weekly show where we showcase different neighborhoods across the greater Phoenix area. Find us and previous shows on our YouTube channel. Our handle is at Team Evo AZ. I hope you enjoy the show. Good morning, everybody. It's Monday. And you know what that means. It's Katie and Dana with the Neighborhood News where we talk about a different neighborhood each and every week. Could be north, could be what do I say? East could be south, could be west. I messed that all up. Messed that all up. I usually have this whole little spiel, right? For those of you who are just joining us, this is reporter Dana, and she works with me on Team Evo AZ at EXP Realty, and she does a phenomenal job digging up history and information and all of the goody goodness that you want to know about the neighborhoods around town. So, you know, if you're looking to move or if you're not looking to move and you're just interested in learning what is around you, this is a really good show to follow. So hop on over to, um, we are on our podcast, actually. This show is featured every week on our podcast. So on any podcast platform that you love, iTunes or Google Podcasts, whatever it is, then just do a search for real with Matt and Katie. So real is our talk show name and um, that's our channel. And so we have all of this awesome real estate stuff going through real and that stands for real estate and life, because that is what we talk about here. A little bit of real estate or a little bit about life, a lot of bit about real estate. There we go. The other way around. Um, Or you can hop over, right? A little bit of both, maybe a little bit more real estate than life, but, but real estate is life. So anyway, it is um, if you want to watch the video, go ahead and hop on over to our YouTube channel and our handle there is at Team Evo AZ. All right, Dana, take it away. Where are we today? Well, we are <laughs> all the goody goodness, the goody goodness. <laughs> of West 2nd Street, which is a it's actually the oldest historic district in the city of Mesa. It is. Uh, no. So we have- know what its nickname is. Ah, no. West 2nd Street itself. So you're going to probably call the map up and you're going to show us the location, right? I am. And so when we get the map up and you see the location, there are just, I believe, three streets that make up the majority of this district. And one of them is West 2nd Street. And back in the day when that was first created or when the settlers landed there, maybe Dana has a little bit more information about that. It was coined Millionaire Row Mm -hmm. because of the awesome houses there. And there's like a doctor's house and and all kinds of stuff. So on our website, mesahistoricdistrict.com, so we're we're historic buffs, right? Um, I actually own a home in in the Mesa Historic area. Uh, On our website, you'll get to see, we don't have all the homes there, but we do have the histories of some of the homes in West 2nd Street. It's kind of interesting. It is. And let me, Katie, can you see my screen? It's not sharing, is it? No. I think Zoom is having some trouble today. That is super unfortunate. Maybe you could just talk us through it. And I apologize for those of you that like the visual and want to see the map. Um, But Dana and I discovered two seconds before we came on, which is why we're (laughs) a couple of minutes late, that Zoom is just not having it today. It, just it is having it. not having it at Hi, all, Brianne. you guys. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Awesome. Well, the boundaries, like you were saying, um, are on the west. It's Robson Street and over to the east on Center Street. And then north is First Street and south is just south of that second street, like you were mentioning, Katie. So, yeah. And I would love to bring everything up and show you guys everything. Um how would you like to run with this? <laughs> well, if we can't share, then just explain what you're looking at, I guess, is the best that we can do, which, you know, our podcast guests, that's all they get. So, so Got that's it. fine. Um, awesome. Yeah. yeah, no worries. And, and I can always put in the, I can put all the links in our show notes later on you guys. So I'll have the link to the map and all that, but it just, this neighborhood just sits east of um, country club drive And again, like I said, so it's really centrally located. It's great and easy to get to. It's super close to revitalized um, historic Mesa, downtown Mesa as well. Yes. And and the light rail. And the light rail, which makes it very easy to get downtown um, or all around you guys. So again, it's, it's a really, it's such a cute, awesome neighborhood. And there's only 50 homes 
in this neighborhood. Yeah. And they're and cool. They're all different. Um, most of the time they've got a little bit larger of a lot. Did you find, did you find the hidden garden in there? Did you come across that? No. So there's a hidden garden and I wish we had the map up because I could show you whereabouts it is, but there is a piece of property that's kind of like behind another property and not a lot of people know about it. And it's just like gorgeous gardens and yeah. Oh, well, you wow. see, um, okay. I haven't been to it, but I heard about it. And since, you know, I'm a homeowner down there, you kind of hear about things. So <laughs> a few things, <laughs> you know, you're in the loop. Yeah. So the, um, I'll have to find the hidden garden for everybody, um, and let you know where that's hidden, <laughs> but the styles are colonial revival, Spanish colonial Tudor revival, mission revival, Pueblo revival, you guys. So again, like you were saying, Hey, there's a lot of different styles of homes and the lots are large. The one home that is for resale, um, let you got me... some bungalows in there too. Yes, you do. And oh my goodness. Um, let's talk about, I'm going to pull this up here in a second, guys, but your, our website, Mesa historic districts, dot com and katie you can talk about that that is your our team evo az's um website that does spotlight historic districts in mesa yeah so we focus on the districts that are right there in that main street area um i believe we have six that we focus on versus the seven that there there are technically um i want to say there's one other district that may have just gotten named or is in the process of getting named as an actual historic district so it's kind of exciting um, but this yes. website was something really fun for us to put together. Alex and I started getting into the, Alex is an agent on our team. We started getting into the whole historic home thing probably a good eight years ago. And then I couldn't get enough. So I had to buy one. Um, <laughs> and I actually own, for those of you who know Mesa history, I own Pomeroy's old barn. So when Pomeroy had his farm there, um, it, that, that is the initial structure and it's actually my living room now, um, but it was his barn and then it got made into a home and kind of got added onto from there. But it was erected in 1880, which is like so cool. Brienne says Main Street is where Mesa has a lot of their free events. Yes, they definitely do. They have a lot of family friendly, kid friendly stuff. So check them out down there. Um, but uh, we started getting into the historic thing, like I said, many, many years ago, and we've sold several of them, both listings and, you know, found, found properties for buyers. And a lot of times there's very little turnover because people really love living in these cool, you know, cool looking homes that doesn't look like the neighbor next to you and the neighbor next to him. Mm -hmm. um, so we put together as we were kind of selling these properties and learning more about the neighborhoods and, you know, visiting and getting to know neighbors we started to learn about the history of all these specific homes because each one of them has a history. Each one of them was built by a different family, maybe. Like there's a few down there that were built by the same family. Um, but, you know, they just have these cool histories and um, all this neat background. So we did our best to pull together what we knew and put together this website. You can click on each of the districts, learn a little bit more about the neighborhood. And then there's a few homes, some of the, some of the um, neighborhoods have many homes on the website now because we've been doing this for a while. So we've been able to collect the information, but it's just kind of neat to take a trip down memory lane. So check it out. It's mesahistorichomes.com. Yes. Thank you. And Welcome. the one, yeah, the one home that is for resale, you guys, it is, the address is 135 West 2nd Street. And it is listed, like you were saying, Katie, Millionaire's Row, right? It's a, listed for a million ninety-five thousand. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a three bed, three bath, twenty-two hundred square feet. It's big for back then, by the way. That's huge. It's been fully remodeled. The lot size is thirteen thousand two hundred. Uh, so you guys, again, one three five West Second Street. It's a rare single family home. It does have a detached casita that is above the garage. So it's got brand new appliances, Thor gas stove, new cabinets, new counters, inside laundry, washer dryer. Uh, again, I, I will share the link for you guys so you can actually get a really great view of what this home, but this is the only one. And to your point, they don't come for resale very often. So 
this one is quite amazing and very large for that. Yeah. For, for that 1930. era. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, and it's true. And a lot of those homes, you know, there are several that do have casitas in those areas. And a lot of those homes have been featured um, in magazines, on news shows, um, Fox 10. I don't know if they still do it. Used to do a segment called Cool House. I know that they did a cool house on one of the properties that we had on Robeson. It's pronounced Robeson, by the way. Um, <laughs> not, not Robson. Everybody says Robson. Everybody says it. But what? now you're in the know. So now you're good. Um, now you guys know. <laughs> now you're in the know. But, but we had one that was actually up in Evergreen. So just north of West 2nd that um, we got on Fox's, Fox 10's cool house. So it was pretty neat. Oh, that's awesome. Do they still do the annual historic home tour? Yes. So Beautiful. that is put on by the historical museum. So that's not the districts themselves. I actually used to be on the board for the Mesa Historic Museum. Um, they are the ones that typically do that. And usually it's around, I want to say March is usually when that happens. If okay. I remember right. For some reason, January is popping in my head, but maybe that's when we used to start like really preparing for it. Mm -hmm. I want to say it's March. I'll get um, that information for you guys. Yeah. That's but they great. should should still be doing it. I mean, it was still going strong when I stepped down from the board and that was only a couple of years ago. So yeah. Awesome. I'll let you guys know about that. Um, amenities like um, Brianne, who's watching. Thank you, Brianne. Uh, mentioned downtown Mesa is not far from here. And that has been like completely revitalized. You guys, there's shops, there's tons of things for kids families. Um, there's a whole, um, and Mesa AZ.com. Um, I'm sorry, Mesa AZ.gov. Excuse me. There is a whole list. You can actually click on all the parks and recreation, Mesa amphitheater, Arizona museum of natural history, the convention center. And I'm going to say this right this time. So you, no one gives me a hard time. It's the idea museum. <laughs> Last time I said, <laughs> because I'll give you a hard time. <laughs> You're like, that's called the Idea Museum, Dana. Thank you. So the Idea Museum, the Mesa Art Center, you are not far from uh, Sloan Park. Go Cubs. I know they're not very good this year, but that's where they play their spring training. Um, and like I said, there's just a lot. So, and you can also look at downtownmesa.com. So those two websites are great for you guys. Um, you're not far from the Mesa Country Club. So mesacountryclub.com. If you're looking to, you know, join, that is a membership-based club. Um, and then, yeah. And then for the, sorry to interrupt you, but you know how I am. Um, for before. the thrifters and crafters, the Brick House, I think it's called the Brick House, Downtown is amazing. And it's, um, I think a bunch of people that come together and they collect cool, like shabby chic things around town and, you know, just really neat farmhousey things. And they all come together. And I want to say the sale is once a month, they open it, or maybe once every two weeks, something like that. Um, it's not open constantly. You've got to go when it's the sale weekend, or it's like three days or something like that, if they still do it the same. But that is such a cool place. And then there are a few antique stores there still as well. Mm -hmm. So if that's something that you like doing, definitely check out downtown Mesa, grab lunch while you're there at um, Work Takeaway. I highly recommend Work Takeaway. Yes. Have a sandwich over there and then hop on over to Thrift It Out. Yes, we can go look at that home, you guys, and then I'll take you to lunch. <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> And antique shopping for your new home. <laughs> and we have two of our biz moms that we would like to feature or from Mom Nation, I should say. So Kara Lieber, and she is the owner of takingcarawomen.com. And that's taking C-A-R-A women.com, you guys. And we know her very, very well. And I love her goal. And I had, I just have to tell you what this is. Her goal is to keep, is to help women reclaim their health, rebuild relationships with themselves and others and empower women with the tools they need to heal themselves. Yeah. She's got a pretty awesome practice happening over there and a great staff. I actually went a couple of weeks ago and had a massage over at Kara's and I saw Leanna, I believe her name is, and she was absolutely fantastic. So I highly recommend that. And Kara's not very far from downtown Mesa. 
Awesome, you guys. So if you need hair analysis, massage, um, any of that information, again, taking Cara, C-A-R-A, women.com is her website. So please check her out. She's an amazing human. And then we also have Connie Dule Alfonso, and she is the owner of Sweet Coco Flower. And so she is a wife, a mom, and she is a self-taught baker and a licensed home baker. And you can find her on Instagram um, at Sweet Coco Flower. And she has, oh my gosh, I, my mouth is watering and I'm, I'm going to try and make your mouth water since you guys can't see this, but (laughs) macaroons macaroons, and it looks like donuts and cupcakes and cake pops, um, all the things for events, um, birthdays, Halloween. She's got these little, um, it looks like a popsicle but they're all decorated in Halloween. One's like a zombie and one's a ghost. Really cute guys. So if you are in need of anything like that, definitely reach out to Connie. We'll share the links in our show notes here later today. And that is what I have for you guys. Yes. (laughs) So sorry we couldn't show photos because I'm sure I could see it in Dana's glasses. I'm sure that those pictures for that house were awesome. I know. That's okay. We'll share, we'll share the link. You guys, you just have to see it in person with us. How about that? (laughs) Absolutely. All right, guys, as always hop on over to our YouTube channel, check us out. We are at team Evo AZ. That's our handle. Or again, you can um, hop on to your favorite podcast channel and give us a look up there and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye guys. Bye.